making me feel bad. You can't kill yourself because of your husband's attitude. Okay? I can feel your pain. I can feel it. And you just have to stop thinking much about me and Odinaka. Be cool. How? I'm asking you. Who else do I have on earth? If not for you, I don't think I How? Why will I stop thinking about you, people? Each time I go out, people mock me to my face. You know what they're saying? Why can't my husband consider my brothers? You don't get it. Your younger brother, Odinaka, still goes to the bush to hunt up until now. Ah, he sleeps with me every day. As in every minute. What? He sleeps with me. He, he has turned me into a slave. He's really turned me into a sex slave. Okay. No problem. But when he's doing it, why can't he pity me? With a massive woman. Why can't he? Why can't he? Why can't he? Why can't he? Why can't he consider me? Why can't he? Why can't he? Adane, please. And he consider me and help my brothers. Adane. Mm -mm. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Adane, I can understand how you feel, but put yourself together. I can't continue like this. Okay? <laughs> Don't bother about us. We will survive. Yes, we will. And as for your husband, I will talk to him. I will walk up to him and I will talk to him. You're not a sex toy. So he shouldn't, he, he shouldn't deprive you from your peace. Please. You have to stop crying. I will talk to your husband. Pull yourself together. If you kill yourself now, what will be our fate? Please. Don't worry, we'll survive. Okay, and I, I wouldn't want to hear that you leave your marriage for anything. It's not a solution at all. Please. And then... We could stop crying. Oh? And that name. Please. Will you keep quiet? Shut up there in church. Eh? Who are you? Oh, you want to prescribe how I should live my life or run my family? Oh, 
my girl. You will do with me. Let me tell you. A child who does not understand the name of a bird calls it a Jojo. You are threatening me. I will deal with you. You don't know me. You don't know me. All you know is Odile, your sister's husband. That is all you know about me. I will deal with you. How dare you threaten me? Now look, let me tell you. I married your sister. I paid her bread price. And as a result, I can use her anyhow I want. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can do about it. Is that understood? Idiot! Get out of my phone! How dare you? Don't worry. I will deal with you. Okay. We shall see. Please, have your, have your seat. So, you are such a cute woman. You are so cute. You're every woman's dream. Your wife doesn't know what she has. You are a gold in every woman's heart who doesn't know your words. Now let me show you this side of heaven specially made for people like you. Uh, Daisy. Yes, you are such a beautiful and funny woman. Thank you so much. Jeff? Jeff? So you call. Get me four problems. All right, sir. So, please go back to your seat. So, how is your business going? Well, everything is moving on well. With you. Good. I can see it all over you. Alright. Thank you so much, you. You are welcome. Now what is this? I thought I told you that I went out. Ah yes, I was already here when I called you. I, I'm so sorry. I'm actually on my way going back. Uh, bye Chief. Am I chasing you out? No, not at all. I, I will see you soon, Ada. Adeline, 
I don't even want to guess or assume that you have something going on with that my friend that just left here. That is very wise of you. husband has not seen my friend. I mean my friends. Ma, you know I can't lie to you. Very good. Jeffrey. Uh, I need a little favor from you. Jeffrey, I want you to tell me, please, where my husband keeps his money. I'm sorry, madam. I can't let out such sensitive information. Why, Jeffrey? Why? Do you know how depressed I am? I'm really sorry about that, ma'am. Jeffrey, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten that I'm the one who granted your employment in this house? Don't you think I deserve to get this information from you? Madam, I'm sorry. I can't do what you asked for. Besides, Chief would kill me. I won't only get fired. He can as well take my life. I'm really sorry, ma'am. We have no joy, no peace of mind. We are like slaves. This suffering is too much. It's a problem. Problems every day. Oh God, where are you? The pain is too much. The pain is too much. It's a problem. Problems every day. My God, where are you? The pain is too much. I've been a poor woman. Some of our problems every day. Problems every My day. God, where are you? The pain is too much. Prayers, faith, hope, and love. We 
Chike killed a goat. So we now say here, Chike, which is a noun subject performing the action which is killed. Now the question is, what did he kill? A goat. A goat, right? Good girl. <laughs> so we go over to this one. So, the goat is called what? The goat is called an object. Correct. Absolutely right. <laughs> so. Mommy. Yes, there. I saw Auntie Daisy sitting on my daddy's leg yesterday. You saw what? I said that I saw Auntie Daisy sitting on my daddy's leg yesterday. Okay. But why is she sitting on my daddy's leg? I think... I think your Auntie Daisy was sick. Is my daddy a doctor? It's alright. Let's continue. Okay, mommy. Adesi, I want you to listen to me and listen attentively. You will also pass this message to your stupid friend, would you? Haha, <laughs> the next time I will see two of you close to my husband. What I will do to two of you, they will hear about us. Be warned. It's yours. Try me next time. I don't blame you, Ada. Since you don't have the strength to handle your cess maniac husband, why not allow me to take care of him for you? Idiots. I will still be eating his money. Out 
before you realize that I'm your wife, for you to give me that little respect. What do you want? I'm asking you. Stop ranting. Stop ranting. I am not going after your friends. Get it into your test call. I am not going after your friends. Where are you going? Adele! Adele! My problems every day. My God, where are you? The pain is too much. The pain is too much. I feel too much. Some of my problems every day. My God, where are you? The pain is too much. I'm in a I for for one, some of our problems every day. Problems every My God, day. where are you? The pain is too much. Oh. Sir, honestly, you have to believe me. I didn't say any word to Madame. Jeffrey. Sir. If I find out that you told my wife what happened yesterday. I'll fire you. All right, sir. Leave. Get out! Upside down, money. Will you help me? Just save his life. I beg you, in the name of God, don't let him die. It's all right. I'm coming. Are you bringing the money? He's coming. Is he? Is he bringing the money? Is he going to bring the money? Jesus. Do not allow my brother to die. Hey! But I will not die. Jeff, go to the boys' quarters, okay? Prepare one room for me. That is where we spend the night. Make sure you lock this door. Huh? I'll see you tomorrow morning. Go. All right, sir.
Sir, the room is ready. Good. Make sure you don't let my wife know my whereabouts, okay? Lock this door. Hmm? All right. Pick up. Pick up, Odele. Pick up. Pick up in God's name. Say! Odele. Jesus. God help me. God help me. Odele, I will not die. I will not lose my brother. Odele, answer your call. Ask you a question, Grandmaster. Go ahead. Will she make any attempt to kill me? Whatever she's going through now, she still sees you as her husband. But for the love she has for her brothers, she will do the unthinkable. Grandmaster, you are getting me confused. You said she still sees me as her husband. And you are saying she will put your thinking about. So, what are you trying to say? For more than once, you've saved her from committing suicide. Correct? Mm -hmm. Good. Do you think that living on this planet Earth means a lot to her? I see her spirit asking questions. 
and I see her eager to find an answer. I see a wandering spirit seeking for help, seeking for liberation. No, it's okay, no one member. Sorry, no? Don't tell me. Excuse me, please. Why did you go save my life? You should have allowed me to die. Can't you see I want to die? No, no, Bo. Mugu. I'm not cool. What am I living for? I'm bugging you with my blood. I'm getting out of here. I'm tired of it. I'll keep quiet, my friend. Leave him alone, Kwanu. So that's the reason, eh? You fought gunmen without anything. Yes, Auntie. Eh? Yes. Can't you people see that I want to die? I mean, are you people not tired of this kind of poverty? People not tired. If you're not tired, I am tired. I just want to die and rest. I'm not going. I don't know. Thank you so much. Don't mind this, this, this mutu mbafu. You know how stubborn he can be. You don't mind him. Yeah, I don't know. You just have to start going back before your husband gets angry with you. Which husband? Yeah, Which husband? Now you're being. You better stop it. Come and carry me out. I will never. I will not go back there again. Eliezer, I won't go back there again. What are you saying? You don't have to say that. You know he will be... Stop it! Don't even go there. Just let it rest, please. Oh, it's Angel. Take your hand. She can stay with her father. I mean, he can stay with her for all I care. Let Angel stay with him. Let Angel stay there. No problem. Eh? You don't understand. You don't understand. Each time I step my feet in that thing you call mansion, your sister pulls from a mother. Everything about me will just change. You will not understand. If you ever ask me to go back there, I will not go. This is my father's house. It's my father's house. I will stay here. Throw me. Leave me, please. Ah, come and throw me out. Chase me out. Throw me away. You people don't know what I'm passing through. You don't know. You don't want to know what I'm going through in the house. And you ask me to go. I will never, I will never, I will never go back. Please, let's leave her now. Let's let her rest. Eh, let's leave her. Oh, my brother. Maybe the nana. Nana's nana's nana. Where is your mommy? She went to the hospital. You mean she hasn't returned? No, that is. So, what have you been doing? I, I was reading my book. It's alright, let's go inside. I still insist you go back to your husband's house. I don't know. What's the problem? 
you just leave her down there alone? If her husband wants her, he knows where to find her. Um, I think my husband is right. Sister, you need to inform your husband you are here. I mean, it's a taboo to leave your husband's house without informing him. It is a taboo for her to leave her husband's house without informing him. But it's not a taboo for her to run for her life. What are, what are you people saying? Saying that that man, Tifo Deli, wants to kill her and use her for, for, for money ritual and you're telling her to go back. Hey, see my friend, stop saying what you don't know. Yeah? Ta! You see? I assume ta. That's how he attacks me all the time. Brother, leave that in. Leave this thing. I know exactly what I'm saying. Come on, my friend, stop that rubbish. I don't, don't talk to your brother like that. I don't need. Don't tell me to stop it. So, if you people cannot see it, you see that you people can't feel it. You can't feel anything. Listen, let the truth be told for once. Brother, we have made a very serious mistake to give our sister to that ritualist to marry. My husband is not a ritualist. The only thing here is that he's too stingy to help us. That's all. Sister, clap for yourself. Korumagaka, the chief defender. Now, let me even ask you which billionaire would allow his in laws? To suffer and beg when he's rich. Oh, don't you know that people will mock him? When he goes to a function, people will mock him and tell him you have the whole world. And yet, you let your in-laws suffer and wander the whole street to beg. Onaga, watch your mouth. Mind what you say. I am not a beggar. Brother. Brother, you are a beggar. Onaka, please stop insulting my husband. He is a beggar. He is a beggar. A moment ago, he was begging Ogapo to free KK for him. And he was also begging police people to, to let him go. Yes, even in the hospital, they asked him to bring 100,000 Naira. He was begging them with 5,000 Naira. But are you a beggar? All I'm saying is that you do not need to carry plates or to go to Chivodele's house to beg him, or even to carry plates and start walking all over the, the streets begging for money before you are called a beggar. If you don't have money to take care of your bills, sister, you are a beggar! You see what you've cost? You see what you've cost with those things coming out from your mouth? Eh? Very soon I'll just leave you here and, and, and you'll be talking to yourself. I'll just go inside with my wife. But you people can go. You can go. No problem. Truth is always bitter. You can carry that. You, you, you okay. should have left me. You're still talking, eh? You should I'll have left me. Okay, what is all this? Aoche. I'm a toche. You people should have let me die. Why do you why do you have to save me? Good brother. Go along with that. You you you're you not here. Just, just, just look at. Look at. Fine house and 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 and, 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 and no sense house and, and a fine car. Which one is on your way go 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 one night in Japan? What kind of thing is this? You not listen to me. The only thing is that truth is always bitter, and it is not everybody that has the the power to withstand it. This suffering is too much. Oh, 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 problems every day. My God, where are you? The pain is too much. The pain is too much. I go for some of our problems every day. My God, where are you? The pain is too much. I go for some of our problems every day. My God, where are you? The pain is too much. Sister, 
please don't hold what Odinaka said to you. Don't hold it tight to your heart. I'm sure he didn't mean all he said. Please. Sister. <laughs> but he made points. <laughs> Just look at me. Look at my brothers. <laughs> Sister, all is going to be well. Crying and blaming yourself, not do anything. But you need to be strong. Please put yourself together. Please, sister. Everything is going to be fine. Please. So it's okay, no good, no. Do you want me to cry as well? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So sorry. Oh, then I can might be right. This is not an ordinary thing. But I have never seen my husband in a strange mood or in a secret room before. I mean, he goes to church and reads his Bible in my presence sometimes. Could it be he's covering up? Ah, God. Please help me. I am losing my strength. Please help me, God. But I must find out why he hates my family and does not show any interest if any of my brothers are assisting. Good evening, Uncle. Good evening, You sounded very urgent on the phone. Why are you not in your husband's house? Uncle, I I came to spend, you know, some time with my brothers. I even uh, took your number from Elias's phone. Mm. But you look devastated. What is the matter? Uncle, I'm suspecting my husband to be a ritualist. Why did you say that? I, I, I just need to find out if truly he is a ritualist. In that case, you, it's very late now. You'll come back tomorrow. 
I'm going to take you to a great native daughter. He's seasoned in it. He's a very great seer. He will tell you everything you want to know about your home. Right? No. Okay. I want us to go now. I have enough fuel in this car that will take us wherever you want us to go. But I want to go now. No. It is very late. Can't you see it's almost midnight? Uncle, please. Allow me to worry about that. Please, tomorrow might be too late. Right. Believe me, it might be too dangerous tomorrow. Please, I really need to go to that place now. Like I said earlier, there's enough fuel in this car. Hmm. Oh, well, if you insist, let us go. He's oh. always there. But, Uncle, if we go there now, can we see the priest? He's always home. Every time he's there. Then can... go inside the car, Uncle. Let's go. Yeah. Well, let us go, Please. My dear. Let us go. Take this. Round it on your head seven times. Then smash the egg on the ground. What you have done? No, I swear. There are these strange eyes monitoring your movement. But at the break of that egg, the eyes cease to see you. He can never monitor your movement again. Now. So what brought you to my shrine? Thank you, wise one. Um... Wise one, I am a wife of a billionaire. My husband is stupendously rich. Very rich. But he hates my brothers. In fact, he hates everything that has to do with my brothers. I don't know why. When it comes to strangers, he can make a stranger to become a millionaire in a twinkle of an eye. But when it comes to my brothers, he will frown. So wise one, I'm here to find out if my husband is a ritualist. You should be concerned about the abject poverty hovering around your brothers. Look at it. A dark cloud. Darkness upon darkness. Failures all the days of their lives. Hey, may the gods forbid. Your late father was a poor man. Just like your grandfather and great-grandfather. But your grandfather from your mother's side was a king with wealth and prestige. So for that wealth to float in your father's compound, you have to make an ultimate sacrifice. So go home. When you're ready, you come back. No wise one. I won't go home. I'm ready. Fully ready to liberate my brothers from this chain of abject poverty. I'm fully ready. Please, wise one. The child that is trapped on the back hurried the mother to help in the movement without knowing that the journey is quite far. Go home and prepare your mind, then come back to me. Because 
there are many things to reveal to you. I'm dying. Yes, Uncle. Let us go. You have had him. You will come back here. No? Yes, Uncle. We are living in pains. No one to help us. Every day by day, from one trouble to another, we have no joy, no peace of mind. We are like slaves. Slaves. This suffering is too much. It's a poor problem. Every day, oh God, where are you? The pain is too much. The pain is too much. I'm so much. It's a more problem every day. My God, where are you? The pain is too much. I'm so much. I'm so much. I'm so much. I'm so much. What are you doing in my father's compound, you bloody ritualist? <laughs> oh, you think I'm afraid of you? No, you think I'm afraid of you? Man, I'm a man. You don't know me. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? In as much as I detest you little boys, I can. Um, Deny the fact that you are my illness. We hate you! We hate you too! Adnaka. Spiritualist! Adnaka, wait. Wait, 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 okay? Um, Chief Orderly, please, what do you want? My wife did not return home yesterday night. I can perceive her presence around. I'm here to take my wife home. Adnaka is not around. She went to see a friend at, at the neighborhood. And we are not done with our family meeting. So please, once we are done, she's going to return to you. But I, I don't like the way you're afraid of this man. Tell him the truth. Or God, Naya, or God, or whatever they call you. She is not coming back to your house again. You want to go? So go and look for any other girl that you will marry to use and enrich your ritual self. I will cut off your head and use that table for Look at this one. This one. Well, uh, I've heard you're lazy. I will be awaiting her return. Okay, they go. No, 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 I'm not afraid of him, oh. I'm not afraid of you, Oga. Okay? Come, what the fuck is here again? Keep quiet now. Keep quiet. No more, you. No more, you. We are living in pains. No one to help us. Every day by day, from one trouble to another, we have no joy, no peace of mind. We are like slaves. I might not see tomorrow. God forbid. Oh, my sister, you, you will not die. Sister. Sister, why are you talking like this now? What kind of talk is this one? Sister. Sister, stop it. Oh. Stop it now. You are scaring us now. Stop it. Stop. All I want you to do for me. Is to take good care of Angel. She's very important to me. Eliezer. Are oh, they? If I sleep. 
and doesn't have the strength to wake up. Please, on no account, should orderly see my dead body. And I want you people to bury me within 21 days. Nothing more. Nothing less. Madame, I do not understand.